Okay, when you first open Expression Encoder, move my little thing down here, you get a um, page that looks like this, and you go, what are these things? Okay, just click where it says Transcoding Project, and your workspace will open up. This has a preview window here, all your buttons and gadgets here. This is important to pay attention to where it says 100%. That's your view. Okay, down here you have your Import and your Encode buttons. Over here, presets and then tabs, which we'll do things with in a minute. The first thing you want to do is import the video that you worked on in Movie Maker. So click the import button. And it will go to your sample videos. You can click videos if you want to download another one. I'm just going to use the sample video for now. And there it is. And if you've looked at this sample video, it's got horses birds, seals, more birds. Okay, I don't want to use the whole thing. So I want to clip it off where right after the seals. Get it as close to you can using this, which is the scrubber. You can move this back and forth. Okay. Alrighty. And then you don't use these. This takes it to all the way to the beginning. This arrow takes it all the way to the end. You want to use the arrows right next to the start and stop button. And I want to go back one, two, three, four seals. Okay, go one more that way, birds. You have these little icons. This one here with the line in the middle of it is for splitting, and I want to split it. And then you can see it makes its own clip here. Right click, remove clip. There you go. Now, I want to start working with these. First thing we have to do and the only thing is encoding quality. I want the best quality and I want to click apply. Okay. Now let's add our clip. Here over here we want to go to enhance the enhance tab. Scroll down to visual overlay. Click where it says add overlay and it opens up your videos file. I don't have a lot of videos here because it's a new machine. I have another te previous test I did with Expression Encoder. I'm just going to open it. And you'll notice that it runs from the horses all the way to the end. Well, maybe we don't want it to run through the whole video and I'm sure you don't want it to run through your whole video. And you'll also notice, look, if we use a scroll, we're not seeing the whole. We need to see the whole picture. Go over here to where it's your percentage of your view is. And take it down to 50. Ooh, too much. Take it up to 66. Okay. Now, you'll notice that your overlay has a bright green boundary. You can click and drag it wherever you want it to be in the picture. If you put the cursor over any of the corners, it turns into a double-headed arrow. You can make it smaller. You can make it larger. I'm just going to put it down here in the lower right-hand corner for now. Okay. There's that. Okay. You get it placed. Now watch. If we run it. Okay. It's still running through the whole video. I don't want it to run through the whole video. What if I want my bear to only be at the end with the seals? What I'm going to do is see over here. Watch, watch me do that again. Go all the way over to the left side, and you'll see it makes a bracket with an arrow head in it, and your cursor turns into a double arrow head. Just take it and scooch it down to where you want it to start, and we'll have ours start at this, just where the seals begin. Okay, make sure that's the spot. Oh. Oops. Seals. Okay, pretty close. Yep. Okay. Now, if we preview it again. See? Now, if we preview it again, we don't have any overlay. We go through the birds, no overlay. Seals, overlay. Okay? Now watch, it will all end at the same time. 
whether or not your little video in here is finished, okay, it's going to end when the main video ends. It can't be longer. Okay, now let's save this as a movie, put it all together, and go up here to encode Windows Media, yes. Video VC1. Now you might want to pay, put this back in the movie makers. Maybe you need to add a title or add credits. So go back here and just do source. Same thing with audio. Just do source. Now go over here to the output file. You don't want it to have the original file name. Okay. Yeah, something may go wrong with it or who knows. So you want to give it, I'm just going to call this one EE -E for Expression Encoder Test. I don't want it saved in my documents. I want it saved to my desktop. You can have it saved to video. You could add security if you wanted, Digital Rights Management, DRM. I don't. Notice how it got big again? That's because it's back to the source side. Let's put it down here. See? Okay, we want it a little bigger. Always check before you just click and code. Okay, same thing. Make sure we got everything right here. With metadata, you don't have to bother with it's all the odds and ends. Enhance, we already did. Okay, I think we're ready to go. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so always check your overlay before you click on the encode button. Okay, to make sure that it's the right size and in the right place and everything else. Now click encode, and this little clock will appear in the preview window. It usually, it, encoding is usually fairly quick. There's one more thing we have to do. The little triangle with exclamation point, by the way, is down here just to point out where it is. Okay, it's done. Now, one more thing here output. I didn't check it, but right here where it says save job file, you might want to save a job file in case something goes wrong, you forget to check, the overlay isn't quite in the right place or whatever. That way you can just open the job again without having to start at the beginning. So make sure in your case to click here where it says save job file. Okay, we're going to close this. Don't want to save changes? No. Now, here's a file. Big Boy happens to be what I named my new laptop because it's bigger than my old laptop. And you're going to open it up. And here's your EE. Here's my EE test file. Now, the problem with this is that watch. And if you choose Windows Media Player or any other media player, it's going to come up with this warning. It has an extension not recognized by Windows Media Player. What you have to do is right click, rename, and I don't know why it does this. It's probably something I don't know about. Go dot WMV for Windows Media File and press enter. See it changes into the, let me show you. It changes into the standard. There's our first thing. Now when we click on it, it automatically opens the Windows Media File. And you can see here, there's our bare overlay. It came in just where the seals were.